Hey guys, this is Chubbs, and today I'm going to show you how to create artillery in Doom using ZDoom's scripting features. So what I'll first do is I'll go to New Map, and because I'm going to be scripting and doing ZDoom stuff, I'm going to go to the ZDoom, Doom and Hexen format configuration, and I'm just going to leave it as Map 01. Now, since I'm going to be calling down artillery, I'm going to make this an outside map, so I'll first just make a square room. If I can get it even here and once I have this regular square room I'm gonna make a small outline inside of it you might have to lower the grid size like I just did you can use the uh, left and right bracket keys to do that so I'm just making a square outline and you'll see why I'm doing this right here so we've got that as you can see here's the inside sector here's the outside sector I'm gonna place the uh, player just right here in the corner and I'm going to make him face diagonally up to the upper right. So now I'm going to go into 3D mode. Here's our room, but obviously this is not outdoors yet. So I'm first going to go to the inner sector and I'm going to raise it up. This is how high the sky is going to be. I'm going to make it pretty high up, up to about right there. That way you really can't look up and see it unless you, or you can't see it unless you look up basically. And I'm going to give this a I'm going to give the ceiling a F sky one texture. Now for the outer sector, give it the same texture. That's all you got to do. You can leave this untextured. And what this does is it makes it appear as if the sky is this tall, but the walls that are around you are only this tall. So this is a neat little trick you can do. And if I were to not make the uh, outer sector there, it would look like this. The, uh, sky would be real high up in the air but at the same time the walls would be real tall also and you don't necessarily want that so I'm gonna lower it right back down here and that's just a neat trick and I'd recommend doing that whenever possible because it makes your maps look better so we have the outside part created that's all we gotta do for it and since we're making artillery I'm first gonna create uh, what I like to call just an artillery zone you don't have to do this this is just uh, this is just a visual thing, just to, to show the player where the art artillery will fall at. So uh, you can make it like a circle, a square, just whatever shape you want it to be. I'm just going to make it uh, this sort of a shape. And I'm going to bring it over here. And I want it to sort of stick out just a little bit, so I'm gonna, going to uh, lower the brightness. There we go. So as you can see, you can, you can make it out from the rest of the room. So... Uh, now that we have a visual representation of the zone where the artillery will fall, let's first place uh, just a few monsters within this. You don't want to place too many. These are the monsters the artillery will fall on and kill. So I'm going to place two of these former humans and I'm going to place one former sergeant. I'm just going to make them face away from the player. And now is where you place the spots where the artillery will fall. And this is going to be done randomly, so it's going to choose one of these random spots that we're about to place. So go into Thing Mode, and uh, once you go to your Thing List, go down to ZDoom, expand it, and choose Map Spot. And start placing these map spots around this area. Just place them all around here. And let's see this should be about good I like to try and evenly space these things out it's tough to do sometimes but hopefully this will be good enough right here I just want to place them close enough so that they'll kill the monsters and stuff but yeah that for now that should be okay so you see the spots here now go into 3d mode and these down pointing arrows are the the map spots and we want the artillery to spawn up in the air so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on each one of these so that they're selected and once you have all of these map spots selected use your mouse wheel uh, scroll it upwards and you can bring these map spots all the way up and I like to take them up to the uh, ceiling so I'm going to bring them up to just about where my sky is at uh, right there will be okay so there's where the artillery will begin and then it will fall down and 
uh, hit these monsters. So now that we've done this, go ahead and go back into 2D mode. And this is where we're going to uh, identify the artillery spots that we've placed. So right click the first one here. And on this action tab, give it a tag number of 1 or a number that you haven't used yet. And then click OK. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each one of these and give a unique number. So this is going to be 2, this one's going to be 3, and so forth. So I'll name give all these numbers here real quick and that'll take just a second and what we're going to do is we're just going to go through and randomly choose one of these numbers to launch a artillery shell towards this towards the position where the monsters are located so uh, looks like I've got about 10 spots this is the 10th number right here and let me make sure that I haven't missed any and we are good to go so all of these spots now have a unique number it's one through ten and you want to keep that in mind so one through ten are the possible numbers that you're gonna launch the shells at so now is when we get into the good old scripting part so go up here click this little uh, piece of paper or scroll this will open the script editor the first thing I'm gonna type and uh, if you can't see this, look in the video description because I'm going to paste the code there. So the first thing you'll type is the number sign, include, space, and then do a quotation and type Z common dot ACS, another quotation. Now we're going to go down. And this is going to be a script that will be triggered by a line that we're going to walk over. Uh, actually, uh, scratch that. This is going to be a switch that we're going to flip. So uh, since, it, since it's not going to happen as soon as the map is open, we're going to do script 1. 1 is just the number of the script, since we haven't used any yet. And then in parentheses, put void. And then do a like a, a bracket or brace, for an opening brace, and then a closing brace. And then uh, go in between them right here and tab once. So now this is where we're going to start to write our code. So the first thing... Uh, Keep in mind that this script that we're writing here is what's going to happen when the switch is flipped. So the first thing I want it to do is to print a message on the screen. So I'm going to type print, do a quotation, or a parenthesis, I'm sorry. And you can see the little helper it gives you here. It tells you what to type. Uh, type S, colon, and then space, and then do a quotation. And inside this quotation is going to be our message. So I'm going to type artillery requested and then do a quotation do a closing parenthesis and then do a semicolon to close off the line so this simply pr prints artillery requested on the screen that's all it does and after we print this message I'm gonna make it wait just a couple seconds before the artillery launches so I'm gonna type the word delay do a parenthesis and let's put the number 130 in parentheses. You can change this number. This just determines how long the wait is before the next line of code triggers. So uh, press enter twice like I just did. And this is going to be the code right here that launches the different artillery shells. So we're going to do what's called a for loop. And I'm going to explain what this does. Type the word for, do a parenthesis. And this is going to be the variable that we set up for the loop to continue. This happens just one time when the loop starts. So we're going to type int int space i equals zero. This just it what it does is it takes a the a variable called i, and it it it, it determines that that is an integer, and then it gives that a starting value of zero, for, because we want the count to start at zero. And this is going to determine how many artillery shells will end up being shot down towards the ground or end up being launched. So we're going to do I is less than, let's say, 30. And then do a semicolon again. So what we've got so far is we're declaring a variable named I. We're saying it's an integer and we're giving it the value of 0. And then this part right here in the middle is... Or, or at least it will be the middle here in a second. This is what continues to happen in the loop, and it continues to be tested. So 
uh, when it first begins, we'll say it is zero less than 30. And if, if so, whatever's in the loop happens. And then uh, go ahead and go after this last semicolon and do space and do I plus plus and then do a, do a closing parenthesis. And then I'm going to do the opening and closing braces for this loop here.